some surprises. I mean, I did not expect so few people to say that they wanted a new bus stop. However, lots of people want a new bus route. They want a new route out in their area. They're not worried about an extra stop on the existing system. Very few people said, oh, the thing I would choose will be a new stop. Yeah. Very few people. Large number of people said, I don't want transit, I want my car, but not as big a number as I expected. I thought that was going to be a very high number and it actually wasn't such a high number. 20 to 30% of the people said, no, I have my car, I don't need transit. But the balance, lots of people want uh, transit, but not a new bus stop. They want everything else. So they either want a new bus route, they want a new uh, a commuter rail system or more trains, or they want a rapid bus system like they have down in Richmond, that, that uh, a bus that, that has bus lanes and is a rapid BRT yeah. system, or they want a light rail system. And those numbers are quite high of the people that want transit and want rapid transit in this area. And that surprised me. Um, uh, I thought we were gonna get a higher even percentage of people said, no, I have a car, I don't want transit. And there are, there's, there's a big chunk but it's not as big as I thought. I thought we would get a higher number who said, no, leave me alone, I have my car, I don't want anything else. Quite a lot of people want transit and they want it to be fast. They don't want it to be delayed and slow and uh, big, big concern. Uh, two of the key concerns about transit that people have pointed out or two needs that they think are crucially important is new routes and uh, they want reliability and fast. So they want new routes and they want it to be fast and reliable. Uh, other things people have also mentioned, they're concerned about safety and lighting and benches and mm -hmm. bus stops and all, all the other bits, but having fast, reliable service and uh, access near their home, that trumps everything. Those are the two key things they want. It's fast, reliable service and they want the, the stop near nearer to where they live. They want a, a route that comes to them. Um, so the route network of the various transit systems, I think the public feel by, by looking at the survey results is too limited. It needs to be expanded. We need more routes. Uh, we've got one main train line. We've got uh, Omniride buses. We've got van pools and we've got the Fred bus system. And the, the, the overall impression is that the route network is too small. It needs to be developed. People want more routes. It's interesting that because so many people participated now, you are able to nail some things down and, and, and see some trends. And that, yeah. that, that's why it's important to take these kind of surveys. Yeah, and it's a, it was important to get a high number of people because it's a representative sample. Yeah. If you want what the statisticians call a 95% confidence interval, you, you, we had to get it you know, around 400 and we got 1,060. So you can say this sample is fairly representative yeah. of the people. And we looked at that, you know, the male and female balance uh, and gender neutral people, we saw some put that. It's fairly representative of the general population, uh, where they live, uh, some in Spotsylvania, Stafford, Fredericksburg, etc. It's fairly uh, represents the population. Generally, those that work outside of the region in DC or Northern Virginia or Richmond um, versus those who live, work inside the region, that balance is, is fairly what uh, we would expect as well. So it is a representative group. It's not like uh, one community was more represented yeah. than another one. We could have perhaps got one or two more disadvantaged folks take it, but we did get a bunch. So so we we feel it's quite a representative survey. It's not, uh, it's not Mickey Mouse. Are there any other surveys planned in the future? Uh, so we did one um, earlier for the long range transportation plan where we asked people what they wanted, yeah. the goals of that. Um, and we're doing this one now. Um, it was a, this one was a really big effort. So we're not planning to do another big one soon, maybe next year, but, but in this year, probably not another big one. Um, but we will have more public participation. Every time we change a key document or a budget, mm -hmm. we have to get the public's input on all of those things. and then there's opportunity for the public to say, we want more of this and less of that. We don't like something in your documents or your budgets or your whatever. So all of those things go through an annual process and 
and some of our bigger documents go through and update when there are changes needed. And all of those things we publish on the internet and put out ads and ask people to give their comment. So we have ongoing comment all the time and inputs from the public. Every time we do a study, eventually there's a period for public comment as well. Um, but we're not going to do another su survey immediately now. We first need to process the results, look at what they're telling us and see how we can adjust our plans for roadways, for trains, for buses, for bike paths, for yeah. all that kind of thing. And that's what we're busy doing now is, is processing that and trying to then integrate it. We're going to present to all of our committees what the results are to show them and then try to integrate that into planning. Like where should we put a future bus route? Um, well, we'll look in the survey and see what people say they want and see if we can find areas that people want. And, and there are, we've made some maps which we will share uh, in a week's time with the public and with our technical advisory committee of where are the areas that more people want transit and where are the areas where less people want transit. And that tells bus operators like Fred Transit and OmniRide and, and others where do people want a bus? Mm -hmm. It's no good putting a bus and you get two customers. That's a waste of money and effort and all that. You've got to try and find clusters of people who want new services. And then you go and put the bus there, or if we're lucky, a train there, or a rapid bus or whatever, or a bike path. Like where are the people and where are the people specifically that want the thing that you're talking about? And that's what the survey tries to do is say, where are the people who want more transit? And yeah. where are they trying to get to? I mean, I'll just tell you one of the quick things that um, might interest folks is that a number of people say we want rapid transit to Dahlgren. <laughs> and they, I mean, it's from Fredericksburg. And it's, it's I mean, we know people work there. Um, and we know it's a, it's a you know, destination. But we, ha we haven't anticipated that we would get a bunch of people who would specifically say we want a, a, a rail train or a bus or something. We want to get quickly out every day to our job in Dahlgren from Fredericksburg and come back in the evening. And we hadn't actually focused specifically on that. So it was, a, it was an unusual thing to see. You know, a number of people that want more trains. Lots of people want more trains, more buses, um, as long as it's fast. It just mustn't be slow and unreliable. Um, so, I mean, those are all interesting things that are coming out of the survey.